hello 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 everyone welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is doing great i am actually set up a little differently today because i'm ready for bed so i'm actually filming on my bed <laughs> my bed sheet well this is like my throw blanket that i throw over my bed so I got my small selfie light small ring light clipped onto my laptop this is the clip right here actually and we're gonna do some word puzzles I don't know how many of these I'm gonna do let's see how long it takes maybe I can squeeze in two um, so I got this today and it's a word find, but the leftover letters will reveal a quote. So whatever the letters are left over is going to spell out some quote. So that should be interesting. I picked up two of these today. Okay. I'm reading the top because I don't know if you notice so it shows it has like a little hint I guess none of the hints look like anything I would possibly have an idea of like oops this the leftover letters will map out the lay of the land as it stands today. Let's do this. Savior the Southwest. So the leftover letters will complete a quote explaining celebrity chef Bobby Flay's love of southern western food. I fell in love with the blank blank Most of them just seem to be six words. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. I hope my camera does not move too much. My bed is not as uh, sturdy as my desk. get a little bit more comfortable and let's let's go ahead all right so we have some sangria mm, lime cilantro burrito chips chili was looking for these books that flip over this way that other book I did I had it was kind of annoying I'm still gonna continue to do some puzzles from that book but it was a little annoying so I had to go in Dollar Tree today and pick up a few things I was actually looking for moss I know sometimes Dollar Tree has um, I've seen moss in there before packs of moss and little packs of like even kind of like hay Dollar Tree usually has a what's it called uh, a plant 
plant section, but I think because summer is almost over, they haven't gotten any new plant stuff in. I actually haven't seen new plant stuff in Dollar Tree in a little while. But I went in there to see if they had moss and um, a few other things. But they didn't have it. Jalapeno, I love jalapenos. Love, 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 love. In fact, I tried this, um, I think it was a jalapeno cucumber drink before. It was so good. If it's jalapeno flavored, I will probably try it. The same thing goes for like ginger, ginger flavored stuff. I'm going to try it. Cinnamon flavored stuff. I'm going to try it. But I went um, to some, this was actually a couple of years ago. It was at a restaurant um, with a friend and we just, you know, went to get some couple of drinks and appetizers and set at the bar and I was looking at the menu and I'm like this is very interesting but I asked the, the bartender if she knew how to make it because you know sometimes bartenders don't know how to make certain things my drink of choice used to always be a gin martini and I feel like it's a classic drink. I feel like it's a very classic drink. I'm, I know not many people are probably ordering martinis. But, you know, I think it's a classic drink that a bartender should know how to make. And they would always just get it wrong. I would have to tell them specifically what to do. Because I like my martini stirred. dry with a twist but anyway I asked her if she knew how to make that drink and did people order it much and she said no nobody really orders it like that and she was actually very happy to make it because people don't order it so she got a chance to kind of you know work on her skills a little it was so good In fact, I may try. I may try to make that drink myself. I just reminded myself about that. It was jalapeno cucumber. I'm not sure. I can't remember what type of liquor it was in it. Yeah, it was, it was so good. Very good. I think it was spicy, but then it sort of like the cucumber cooled it down. You know, it was like a kick of spice and then it wouldn't be a kick of spice that just bothered you too much. It was a perfect. It really was perfect. Tequila. I love tequila. Lately, when I've gotten any sort of drink, I've been getting tequila. I'm usually, I'm usually like a glass of wine. You know, I'm good to go red wine. But I've been slowly phasing out of red wine. I don't know. I think I'm going to try that. I'm going to look it up and experiment.
so yeah I was looking for um, in Dollar Tree they ended up not having some of the things I was looking for but my Dollar Tree has been just stepping it up with so much interesting things that I've never seen there and it seems like every week that I go in there I'm looking for margarita oh here we go it seems like every week I go in there there's like new Halloween stuff and like really good like they it seems like they keep adding stuff on and of course they have like the fall stuff out like they have some pumpkin stuff and all the orange um, I knew I kept seeing some word right here but yeah they have like all the leaves and things like that Thanksgiving type stuff they don't really have much Thanksgiving but they have like about two aisles worth of Halloween stuff even at the ends of the aisle too they have some Halloween stuff pleasantly surprised I don't really do too much decorating I did pick up a few things but they had some cool stuff I try not to get too many like little knickknack things to decorate with because or get things I try to get things that I can reuse you know maybe I'll get some orange items to throw around the house when it's like fall but usually after the season's over I'm like I don't even like I don't want to store these things and just take up space so I try not to get um, kind of themed too many themed holiday themed decor items This is a little awkward because I'm leaning over and I'm trying, leaning over is a little uncomfortable, but I'm also trying not to move too much because it kind of moves the bed and I don't know if you'll be able to see, but the camera moves just a little bit, not too much. So I think this will be the first and last time I do this. I thought it was a good idea. I really should have just sat at my desk. We're almost done. We're almost done. Alright. We have two more words left. I think I found this. I thought I saw this somewhere. so many CHs and just thrown around 
it's kind of, it was throwing me off. Here we go. All right, let's see what this says. Okay, let's move my mic. I'm gonna move my mic over to the other side. All right. So I'm confused. Let me make sure I got everything. I thought you put the words up here. I was I thought that was weird, but I guess not. I guess you just. So should I go this way? then you might know the answer to this already. I don't. Alright. Whoops. I'm not sure where this strand of hair came from. Probably one of my wigs. So, I kind of remember now that I doing these sometimes was annoying because you would miss a letter all right v oh it's looking like it's spelling flavor okay flavor s t h e o um, c o oops i'm not even paying attention all right let's do that again s H E C O. All right, so this <laughs> the S probably goes here. Flavors the color colors the. I know this is a mess. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I just lost track of where I was at. Flavors, the colors. Okay, so he, I fell in love with the flavors. I guess it could be comma, the colors. The all right, so it is the again. Yes, this is everything is throwing me off. This is a mess. The T T E. I think. Well, let's let's do this again. Colors. The T. E X the text let me cross these out for sure the text T U R E S the textures oh <laughs> okay the textures <laughs> I'm, sp I'm writing these letters and I'm like, where is this going? This doesn't make sense. The textures, all right, so we up to this. I, T, I, T, B, it, E it uh oh okay hold on think I missed 
This is frustrating. Next time I got I make sure I do this. All right, so oh boy, where was I up to? It's I think it's he's saying it became it But I don't see any C before that. Oh, I did miss a C. Okay, it became, yep, it became, all right, T, it became, T, H, E, the, P, A, the palette, that that I I think I I reach oh yes okay okay I'm getting it I'm getting it because I was about to end this damn video and not figure out what it spelled for always Okay, so that's what he says. <laughs> this is what he says. I fell in love with the flavors, the colors, the textures. It became the palette that I reach for always. Look how horrible this looks. A mess. <laughs> Honestly, when I saw the book, I was like, you know what? This is fun. That's, that's a fun idea. And now, I just got flashbacks of hating doing these sometimes. <laughs> the thing is, I just have to be like, I gotta make sure that I really cross these out and not like, you know, see some lines that might go like that. I have to make sure I really, really cross it out. Okay, so he fell in love with Southwestern food. The leftover letters will complete a quote explaining celebrity chef Bobby Flay's love of Southwestern food. I fell in love with the flavors, the colors, the textures. Period. It became the palette that I reach for always. And there we go. That was that was fun. That was fun. Okay, so I think I've had my share of this puzzle for today. I'm going to do these. These puzzles, no, I'm not going to do at 3 o'clock in the morning. Absolutely not. Um, I'm, I'm going to be too tired. But uh, sometimes I do the other puzzles very late. And I might miss a couple of words. But, um, yeah, I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to be doing these more often as well. You know, my other daily book, I'm like way ahead. So I said I'm going to do uh, some filler puzzles and all of that. So I think I'm going to be doing these more often as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're relaxed. Hopefully you're sleeping. And I'm going to see you next time. Um, take care of yourselves. Alright. Good night. Good morning. Have a great day. Have a good night.